around three times more abundant than uranium. Thorium, as a nuclear fuel source, holds the potential to change the energy sector and the lives of billions of people around the world. And today, it is nine years ago that Copenhagen Atomics started the journey of realizing that potential. In this video, we'll take you through some of our main achievements this year, some of which you might have heard about, some of which you probably have not. And as a bonus, we'll show you some never before seen footage from the development of our thorium molten salt breeder reactor, the Copenhagen Atomics Waste Burner. From melting salt in a kitchen, building loops in a garage that sort of looked like beer kegs. Oh, fuck. Sorry, I can't be again. We've come a long way. And before we look at some of the progress, we want to say a big thank you to all of you watching and engaging in the content we're making. We love the comments, positive and negative, and we try to answer as many of you as we can. So, let's look at some of that progress. Our reactor simulations have been sped up and improved greatly. Many of them are now open source, which means you can run your own reactor simulations in OpenMC. And you can see how in our tutorial series. We manufactured more than 2,000 electronic control boards and sensors and have exceeded 2 million hours of testing across test platforms and components, including the first tests on our patented active magnetic bearings pump. And have collaborated with the University of Liverpool to conduct a peer-reviewed corrosion study of our purified salts and have scaled our production capacity significantly to ton scale of Fleenoc and lithium fluoride thorium tetrafluoride. We have sold eight custom molten salt test loops with three having already been shipped to universities, including MIT. But most importantly, we've built the first two full scale test platforms. Both are equipped with our patented Onion Core, a completely new, very compact core design that uses heavy water as a moderator, optimizing fuel efficiency by capturing runaway neutrons in a lithium fluoride, thorium tetrafluoride salt blanket. We're super proud of the milestones we've hit last year, and next year, we're aiming to go even further. We've raised 25 million euro this year to keep developing the technology and just brought on board a new CEO who will be taking charge of negotiations with governments and our next major investment round. Developing new technology and bringing it to market is a learning journey and it takes time, but we'll show you it is possible. Stay tuned. <laughs>